Welcome to this week's The Choice, and it's part two up at Wade Renfro's because we're floating the river for brown bear. We are. We're still trying to get Ralphie one here with his weight. Oh, I'm we're trying. Try He's trying. He's They're trying. There. You know what? They're there. And we keep chasing them because. And we have encounters. I mean, oh, it's there. Oh my gosh. They, you know, every slough we go into, there's great fish, the good giant bear tracks. Hey, Ooh, we'll like, see. You, see you guys got to see what happens. Hey, um, this week's lucky logo is Caldwell. Caldwell. Lead sleds, baby. Ultimate. All your shooting supplies, Caldwell. Okay, look for the logo and at the end of the show. We'll tell you what to do with that. So, no. should we start floating again? Yeah, let's not waste any time. No, let's not. Let's, let's go get float. You gonna go float again? With you? <laughs> oh. Once again, we're up here in Alaska with Renfro's Alaskan Adventures, and we're up here trying to fulfill Ralph's dream. He has dreamt, I don't know, since he started bow hunting, that he wanted to shoot a brown bear with his bow. We as hunters live by our choices, and my choice, I really want to try to get a brown bear with my bow, and that's what this week is all about. The Alaskan brown bear, it's an animal that 100%, it's all about the wind. Their sense of smell is, uh, there's nothing really that compares to it that I know in the, in the hunting world. At times we're walking down bear trails in thick cover, and you don't know if they're 10 feet in front of you, you don't know if they're 10 feet in back of you. The wind has to be right, and if the wind's not right, you have to have the knowledge, experience, and the patience that when Zach or Jeff say, listen, we gotta get out, even if it's before prime time or it's right at prime time, we gotta get out because all you're gonna do is educate those animals. You know, if they smell that scent, it is game over. All right, it doesn't seem like the bears are coming here, so we're gonna go to them. We're gonna see if they're feeding somewhere else. If not, we know this is the best spot to sit in. We're gonna get a little aggressive. We were all sitting around and Jeff seen a bear. Jeff goes, bear. And I mean, this bear pops out from nowhere. This bear was probably at one time, definitely less than 20 yards from us. I just saw him through the brush. He was looking at us and then he ran. And he mm -hmm. ran up in there. There he is, there he is. Right there. I popped my teeth out of him a little bit. Uh, trying to challenge him, trying to, to, to make him think that we were bears to come investigate. Sure enough, he crossed the slough and was headed right to investigate us. You're so dependent on the weather, and I should say weather and the wind. A lot of these sloughs, you can only hunt them with one certain wind. And if, if your wind's blowing into where you think they're coming from, man, it's over. It's a gamble that we as hunters are willing to take because you could be literally at point blank range on a big old brown bear and that's a rush. Something that I've always dreamed of, you know, on a brown bear hunt, and that is to be on a river with the salmon and the reds, and I mean, to have all of them swimming and, and just splashing, and, and, and this was it. And we had everything just swimming by. It was like the, the coolest, the best aquarium you could ever ask for. That little guy just came out. Now, instead of being on the right, he's over here on the left. We witnessed Mother Nature at, at her finest, and, and to experience it, to see it, and to share it, and to create new memories, folks, that's what it's about. Zach just said, let's start at back, so we're gonna go back in the slough. We've been hearing a beaver, man, flapjacking a bunch. We had that little bear, and that little bear ran, but he ran that way, so we're gonna take a walk in the back and see what happens. I'm telling you, if, if you've ever dreamed about a brown bear hunt, you know, this, this is why we come to Wade's. Night. So we're gonna hunker down in here. Hopefully, they're coming through here to feed in these bulls. 
here it is, we're here early and we're down on the rivers because that's where the bears are. As season progresses, the bears move out of here once the fish are leaving and they go up in the mountains. Wade sets up his hunts all according to the movement of the animals. So, you know, at any given time, you're in the right place at the right time. Everything about bear hunting is all about the wind. Uh, if you add bow hunting to that equation, then everything's even tougher. And w w when you're bow hunting these sleuths, um, there's a lot of woods around you. There's a lot of stuff to make the wind not be real consistent. Prime time, and now the wind shifted. Now it's blowing down, so we gotta get out of here. I can't win, man. I just can't. Well, the wind forced us out of our slough. We're gonna take a walk. There's another slough down here. If the wind's coming out of it, we'll go sit it, but there weren't a lot of fish in there. Most of the signs over there, but you can't do it because of the wind. Ooh, hurting. This whole trip, we've fought the wind. We, we've been pushing the bow hunting the whole time, and I, I haven't been able to catch a break. Every time we pull into somewhere, the wind end up, ends up either making me back up and pull out, or, or it just screws us through the hunt. So we worked back and forth between both sloughs, you know, according to the wind. And, and there were times the wind just jacked us up, so we, we got out. You know, the bear sign was there, the food wasn't there. However, we did cut, we did cut a big track and we could see that he had walked over ours, but man, he just didn't show up. We just can't catch a break. We get in a great spot and the wind isn't right. It's, it's getting sacked, frustrated. And we're trying, man. We just can't catch that break. Well, we are packing up camp too. We spent a few days here. There's some good bear sign, big tracks. What? We're just missing them. They must not be coming around the same time we are. That's a big one. We're doing our best. The wind keeps screwing us up and Ralph is trying so hard for that brown bear with his bow. And we just need to get one close enough that, you know, that's willing to cooperate and they just don't seem to be. So we're gonna move down to another spot. I think Zach said we gotta go about two miles down river um, and set up camp again. This is my second hunt with Ralph and Vicky. These guys are good hunters. Uh, I respect good hunters. They're great people. They're salt of the earth. They're good, solid uh, people. They're great to hunt with and they understand what I'm doing. Uh, above all, they care about the animals. It's gotta be, huh? Yeah. Look at him. The bears are here. Every time we go to get in a, a great slough loaded with fish and bear prints, the wind shifts and we can't hunt it. We're going down river two miles. This is what we do. As a hunting guide, the, I mean, this is what I do for a living. The reason I'm out here is because of the animals. And it's nice to see that appreciation today. That, that really makes it a treat to hunt with them. You know, as we floated further down river, now this is sort of a newer territory because we're going down to an area that Zach pretty much never had a hunt. So we pulled on down the river. I got out of the last slough and um, pretty much lower than that on this river, I've never really had to hunt. So it was just, uh, you know, it was me going to find a different place to hunt. And as we're going down, we're, we're stopping at every slough and he's walking in, checking the tracks and he'd come out and... It's kind of a... Kind of a low odds hunting spot. It's uh, if, we, if the wind changes on us, we're kind of screwed on that spot. So um, I don't feel real good about it. I'd like to go down and find a different spot. I hate to leave a bear like that, but I agree with you. So, go with your gut. So we need to to go down and find find multiple um, winds to hunt. So that's what we're gonna do. We keep floating down to another spot, and all of a sudden he finds this one little slough, and he's like, "Let's, let's go check this out." Last three, four years, there's been a really, really big bear for our country. Uh, using this little, this little slough back here, that's why I stopped and reconned it. And here's the reason. With the nine inch track, right next to a size 13 hip boot. That's a great bear. We set up camp with the wind in our favor, everything he likes. He, he's very particular where his campsites are. It's pouring rain. Well. It's time of the afternoon, and we're just getting ready to head out, and we've got a heck of a storm moved in again. It's just what we've been dealing with. 
got to keep your spirits high because you could be there and that one afternoon or that one opportunity could be it. Well, maybe, just maybe, the rain stopped. Now get off the boat so we can put this thing to the beach. Yeah, you. Well, through the downpour of rain that we dealt with today, we got camp set up and there's a slew back here that Zach found today that's loaded with bear tracks. So we're gonna keep the wind in our favor. We're gonna go in there and it's a countdown and we're counting down. Hoyt, DC, Hoyt, DC. We go in that night and it's pouring rain. We just got set up. We walked in from the main river, came down this channel, got on this point, the wind's coming across. The thing is it's loaded with bear tracks. I mean, a monster of a bear. We're gonna sit here. So we're, we're here to hunt. No matter what it is, we got our Hoyt and our DC. It's pouring rain. We got ducks, we got all, we got geese in, in the slough. I mean, we, just gorgeous. Just, just a fantastic evening, even though there were miserable rain. And all of a sudden, we bear. We just spotted a bear way down there. The bear comes out, it's about 200 yards out, and he's, he starts walking away. And so Zach's like, let's go. So we got the wind in our favor. We stayed on the one bank thinking there's no way, no chance of him winding us. He, he didn't even stop to fish. Not, I'm not sure why there was fish in the slough. I'm not sure why he didn't stop to fish. He evidently had a little mission that he was on and he never stopped. But we chased him, chased him about probably, I don't know, around about a half a mile oxbow. This is what you come to wades for. I mean, you're talking about this is a nine, five, nine, six bear, possibly bigger. He's everything I ever dreamed of having that Hoyt at full draw. But he just, he had a mission, man. He wasn't hungry, he, he went across, he walked across the slough, got on a beaver dam, and just kept going. I have a long shot, we gotta try. He never saw us, he never smelled us, he never winded us, um, you know, definitely didn't hear us. We've got another chance at him. We're gonna continue hunting him the next night. This is it. This is absolutely the last night of our hunt. We've had a great time, man. We've seen some bears, we just never got close enough with the bow. So tonight, if that big bear comes out and he is not where I want to be with my Hoyt, he will be where she wants to be with her TC. I've been following you around for 10 days with this camera. Yes, and thank you. Thank you, honey. Appreciate that. It's a team effort and, you know, most of the time I'm filming you. Oh, no, I just know how much it means for you to get a bear, a brown bear with your bow. Yep. And, uh, and I've shot the last two brown bears while we're up here. And if I have to shoot the third tonight, I will do that. Oh, you'll take you. one for the team? I will. <laughs> yeah, I, it's a, it's a hard wait. thing to take, isn't it, folks? I mean, it's like, oh, I'll take one for the team. And it's probably a good thing that this is the last day because, you know, it's been like 13 days, no showers. We stink. Uh, yeah, we, we have to be definitely downwind because really maybe not because the way we stink, bear might go, that ain't no human. <laughs> But uh, it's been an incredible adventure. You know, whatever happens tonight, I can tell you right now, when it comes to Alaska, we're hunting with Wade Renfro's. You know, going on any wilderness hunt, you know, there's things that you really want to pay close attention to. And, and a couple things is really do your research on the outfitter and make sure that, they, you know, they have very competent guides. I mean, you're floating down a river in a raft. You better have all the essentials that you need and you better have someone with you that you know can, you know, take care of your back and you're taking care of theirs. Success is, has got a lot to do with one, surviving the wilderness. Don't try to come up here and try to be the guide to guide a guide. I mean, come on, even if you've never been here, even if you've done it numerous times, these guys know the river like the back of their hand and they know the sloughs and, you know, they know where the bears are bedding and they know what's going on. So, I mean, you really, really have to be selective. And that's why we've come here with Wade Renfro's for all these years is, I mean, man, there's no hesitation, none. You know you're in good hands and you know you're in a great area and you know the scouting's been done and everything else. So it makes it pretty easy to make that choice. Last day, last 10 minutes, and what happens, I'm filming a sunset 
big brown bear comes out and he's 70 something yards away, too far from Ralph. Ralph and Zach both look at me and they're like, grab the TC and take him. I didn't hesitate. I threw the camera at Ralph. I grabbed my bog pods, grabbed my TC, put it on there. Zach said, wait. And I said, of course. And as soon as he said, go, and Ralph said, go, come on. That was it. After that bear showed up and I shot him, the look on my face, usually I got a big grin and I'm shaking. I think I was in shock. Gotta push it all the way to the end sometimes. We did. I'm yeah. shaking, I can't put it the That was, <laughs> we, I've been behind the camera the entire trip trying to get Ralph. It's, it's a 60 something yard shot across the way and Ralph's like, Vicky, grab the TC. Last minute, last day. <laughs> I could check out my brown bear. I really did not expect that bear to I seriously thought we're going home, we're gonna come back again and try again. And you know what, we will. We're gonna be coming back up here with Wade, Renfro's Alaskan Adventures, and we're gonna try again to get Ralph his brown bear with his bow. Beautiful Thank bear. you, Zach. Thank you, beautiful bear. Last night, last 15 minutes, just got done doing a beautiful sunset time lapse. I behind the camera the entire week, and this bear comes out. 60 something yards away from where we're at across the slough. Ralph's like, Vicky, grab the TC. He's a big one. Zach is figuring nine, nine and five. He's a big brown bear. He's missing an ear and he has giant, giant white claws. Zach said that shows age. Last night up here at Renfro's Alaskan Adventures, Wade, Zach, Jeff, everyone back here, thank you so much. And gotta thank the big Lord up above because Thank you for blessing us with so much because without him, we have nothing. That's a tough hunt. That was a super tough hunt. So this week, I might not have shot a brown bear. I was never able to draw back my Hoyt. That was my choice. I could have taken a bear early on the hunt with, with our, our TC, but I chose not to. I can tell you right now, I don't regret a thing, but I'll tell you what, it only put more fuel in my fire to keep going up to Wade's because one year, Zach and I, we're gonna do it. What an incredible adventure. It was Unbelievable. so much fun. My, you hunted for like 10 days and 23 hours and some odd minutes, and then I hunted for three. minutes. Filming the last night, last sunset. I mean, we're gone. Been, you know, you trying to get it with the whole. Always said never give up. Never give up. Always hunt never, that never, last never, second. Because what happened is we hear a noise across the slough. This big old bear comes out. We weren't like sure what it was. Right. Thought it was a beaver it, or a moose or something. And, it was a bear, yeah, big and bear. 72 yards or something yep. away. And you know, it's not a bow hunt. It's not a, you, nope. want, you want them up close and personal. I want them so close, they, I can Zach's smell them. Zach's threatening us with our lives. No, I'm kidding. Take them, take them. Take them, take them. And so Ralph's like, give me the camera. I grab my TC and bam, it's done. So Michelle. Bottom line is we made it happen. It and, is, and, and I got a nine and a half foot brown bear. Thanks to oh Zach, thanks to Wade, Wade. and everybody. And yeah, and you, you know what? It was crazy. We had such a great time, all four of us together. Just, it was just so much fun. Wade, everyone up at Renfro's Alaskan Adventures, thank you so much for an so, amazing, so amazing much. adventure. It really was. Lucky logo was Caldwell. Thanks, Lucky baby. If you happen to see it, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on the Lucky Logo button, and someone's gonna get a bunch of stuff from Caldwell. Here's what I can tell you. I'm going back. And I think I'll stay home so I don't have a TC behind you. Wow. You go, oh, did you see that? Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Really? Yeah, no. No, I really feel bad that you might not go. Actually, I am going to stay home next time. I think you should take someone else with you, and that way maybe you could actually shoot one with a brown bear. Maybe I'm just bad luck oh, with you on a hunt. Oh, man, I feel bad you're not going. <laughs>